Beautiful beyond description, to marvelous for words, to wonderful for comprehension, like nothing ever seen or heard. Who can grasp your infinite wisdom? Who can fathom the depth of your love? You are beautiful beyond description, majesty enthroned above. And I stand, I stand in awe of you. I stand, I stand in awe of you. Holy God, to whom all praise is due, I stand in awe of you. And I stand, I stand, I stand in awe of you. I stand, I stand, I stand in awe of you. Holy God. Hi, welcome to Verse of the Day. I'm Brandon Hathaway, the preacher at the West Side Church of Christ, in Owensboro, Kentucky. And I want to thank you for joining me today. Uh, today is Sunday, August 23rd. Um, since it's Sunday, uh, it's the day to gather together and worship, to assemble together with your brothers and sisters in Christ. So I want to start off by inviting anyone that's in the Owensboro, Kentucky area to come and join us for worship. Uh, we'd be more than happy to have you come visit with us as we gather together. We meet at 10.30 this morning for our worship service, and uh, we have plenty of room inside the building. We also have uh, some of the brethren that are sitting outside uh, due to the virus that is out there, and I know they'd be more than happy to have you join them sitting outside and hearing, uh, hearing the lesson over some speakers. Um, and even then you could come and sit in the parking lot, stay in your car if you desired, and be over your radio through a transmitter. Or again, if you uh, follow the congregation's Facebook page, then the sermon will be live on that uh, probably around when we're closer to 1045 um, is when the sermon would start. So um, I just want to make that option open to, to you guys. Uh, if you're in the area, please please feel free to come and join us. We'd be more than happy to have you. Um, and happy to, to have you join us. So, um, to get to the verse of the day, today's verse of the day is Isaiah 41 and verse 10. Isaiah 41 and verse 10. And so, um, let's go ahead and transit over to that, and I uh, hope that everybody will open up their Bibles, follow along as we uh, open our scriptures, uh, search the scriptures, studying it, uh, talking about it. Um, you know, as I was uh, picking out a verse for today, I was uh, um, uh, trying to think what, what would be good. And so I was uh, looking for a verse to help us uh, focus that we can rely on God and remember that He's there for us, remember that He's always uh, there for us. And so let's look to this verse, Isaiah 41 and in verse 10. Isaiah 41 and verse 10. And so here it says, Fear not. For I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. And so, you know, uh, looking for a verse to, to help us remember to rely on God, a verse to help us to remember that He's always there for us. Um, this really uh, stuck out. You know, again, it says, "Fear not. Don't don't ca get caught up in, in the fears." of the enemy, fears of the world, um, but remember that He is with us. 
God is with you. He is there for you. You can always open up your Bible and study. You can always go to God in prayer. He is always there. He says, be not dismayed, for I am your God. And of course, you know, this is uh, the Old Testament speaking to the children of Israel. Um, and, you know, they've had enemies and captivity and this and that. And so, you know, here God is assuring them, I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. He's there for us. He extends his hand out to guide us, he extends his hand out to strengthen us, to, to be there for you. All you have to do is be willing to reach out to him also. Be willing to extend your hand out and grab his, and he will pull you up. But you know, as I think about that, I, I imagine uh, what we read about in, uh, when, when Peter uh, was walking on the water with the Lord and then he started to sink and as we start to sink we, we need someone to, to lift us up we needed some he needed somebody to save him and the only person to go to was the Lord and that's what he says you know because though he he lost faith by looking at the things of the world he also knew who could save him he said Lord save me and he extended his hand out so that the Lord could grab him and pull him up. And so if we're sinking in fear of this world and we're sinking in the temptations of this world and it's all overwhelming us, extend your hand, extend your heart out to God and He will guide you in the right way. So let us always be relying on Him. Let us always look to Him for our guidance. I hope that I've helped you today. And again, I want to thank you for joining me. Thank you again for joining me. Um, it's always wonderful to be able to do this. Um, I, I look forward to it, even though sometimes I have technical difficulties. Uh, and it's really not a technical difficulty. It's just me remembering to uh, change my settings. Uh, I've been playing around with the settings to uh, try different things. And if I don't go back, then they stay on those settings where it doesn't show to everybody else. Um, but it looks like I'm live, and it wasn't. So... Um, but uh, I thank you for joining me. Again, we welcome you to be with us today at worship at 1030 uh, here at Westside Church of Christ in Owensboro, Kentucky. I thank you again, and I'll talk to you later.